I trust you, Lord. I trust you, Lord. Romans chapter 3. Romans chapter 3. to begin reading at verse number 21, Romans chapter 3, we're going to commence our reading at verse 21. Are we there? Amen. And I'm reading from the New International Version, it says, but now a righteousness from God apart from law has been made known to which the law and the prophets testify. This righteousness All right. All right. from God comes through faith in Jesus Christ yes. to all who believe. All right. There is no difference for all have sinned All right. and fall short of the glory of God. All right. And are justified freely by his grace. Yeah. Through the redemption that came by Jesus Christ. All right. God presented him as a sacrifice of atonement mm -hmm. through faith in his blood. All right. He did this to demonstrate his justice because in his forbearance, he left the sins committed before unpunished. Right. Yes. He did it to demonstrate his justice at the present time, so as to be just and the one who justifies those who have faith in Jesus. Right. I'm gonna stop right there. I wanna talk from the subject I am determined to become righteous through faith. All right. I am determined All right. to become righteous mm -hmm. through faith. And I want y'all to say that with me. Tell your neighbor, say neighbor. neighbor. I am determined, I am determined to, become to become righteous. righteous. Through faith. Through faith. Amen. Amen. Now, Lord, Amen. Help me now as I preach your, your word. There are many misconceptions about heaven, righteousness, and righteous living. All right. There are many misconceptions and misconstrued ideas about how we are to live our lives because there are people who feel as though you can go to heaven. Thank you, ushers. You can go to heaven anyhow. All right. And some people, and I'm going to tell you why some people, how I know some people believe that is because we can see at funerals people who haven't been in church no time. All right. But folk will get mad if the preacher don't say something that will indicate that their loved one is going to heaven. I'm here to tell you that if you don't live the live a life of Christ here, there's nothing that we can say that's over right. your cold body that's going to help you to make it to him. Amen. As a matter of fact, I, I know some folk who, who think that people when they die, that they still need some amenities that they 
have on earth while they in the tomb. All right. Amen. Amen. I, I don't, 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 don't uh, y'all see them at the funeral. They don't close it down. They can't breathe. But well, that's yeah. the reason yeah. why they laid there. All right. <laughs> All right. That's it. Amen. 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 Like, so, but that's a whole other subject for you. <laughs> but folk, yes, <laughs> think that Righteousness yeah. is they get they can misconstrue deep with or mixed up with self righteousness. All right. Because scripture says that there is a way right. yes, uh -huh. that seemeth right unto right. man, Amen. but the end thereof is Amen. death. Amen. And every one of us think we got it all together until you show up on the day of the Lord and realize that you was missing on all cylinders. All right. Because, uh, because scripture says that in that day uh, that there's going to be some that say to God, Lord, did not we prophesy in your name? Did not we perform miracles in, in your name? And Jesus is going to say, God is going to say, I know you not you're a worker of iniquity. Yes. All right. Don't you know that there are some people, uh, there are some people and some churches and some pastors who are workers of iniquity? All right. Amen. And they are standing behind this, the sacred desk uh, all willy-nilly and they're preaching and people are getting delivered and people are getting set free and yet there's a great spirit of witchcraft I know this is going to mess with y'all today, but I'm here to tell you the truth because the truth of the matter is that if you don't have God in what you're trying to do, you might as well stop doing it. All right, all right. Say that, say that. Yeah, amen. 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 Because, because the songwriter says that, that all of the ground is sinking. Amen. Paul writes and he expresses to us the importance of becoming righteous. All right. Now in verse 21, it opens up with one word. And that word is but. Mm -hmm. But is a conjunction word That's right. that whenever you see the word but, it eliminates or takes away credence from what was said prior to All right. the but. All right. so, so in order for us to understand why he said but, we need to go back. Okay. All, right. All right, let me help y'all. Let me help y'all. In, 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 in the, the, the law, under the law, uh, we, would all, we were already condemned to death. Just by our everyday dealings. Okay. Check it out. If you go back to uh, in the third same chapter into verse 9. Okay. It says this. What shall we conclude then? Are we any better? All right. And then it gives the answer. It says not at all. Uh -huh. We have already made the charge that the Jews and the Gentiles alike are all under sin. Yeah. The Jews and the Gentiles, no matter if you're a Jew or you're a Gentile, all people, all are alike. We are under sin. We are sin. We are born in sin and shaped in iniquity. And, and according to the law, we ought to be condemned. We are condemned to sin and we should be condemned to die. All right. All right. Look at what it says. As it is written, there is no righteous, no, no one. not a one. That's right. Tell your neighbor, say neighbor. neighbor. Ain't no righteousness ain't in you. No We're going to get there. Now, now I, I know, I know, I know that, that, I know that, that may sound humorous, but let me, let, me, let me help you. Let me help you now. There is no righteousness. No, not even one. There is no one who can 
uh, who understands, no one who seeks God. And we're living in a day and a time now where nobody is trying to understand and nobody is trying to seek God. We only uh, are in church because of religious affirmation. And what religious affirmation is, is we're going to church because that's what we do. Family go to church, and, and and that's what we do on Sunday morning, and and, and we like to go because because that's what everybody else that I know does. So it's it's just a, an affirm affirmation that this is what we do on Sunday. But you can't just do this on Sunday and not have a heart for what you say, the God that you say you love and you live for. In other words. You got to be real. All right. Tell your neighbor, you got to be real. You got to be real. You got to be real. You gotta be real in this thing because we're living in a day and in a time now that, that, that God is, every time you look around, every day we get up, somebody that we know is going home. And, and, and God is calling the road. And we got to understand that you don't have to be sick All right. for God to call your name. All right. Amen. Like said, well, when your time is up, Hey, we can we can we can stand here and we can cry out, but when God say you he ready, That's you got right. to move. Amen. Amen, like so Amen. Amen. And there is no one who understands, no one who seeks God, and is all have turned away. They have together become worthless. All right. Don't become worthless. Amen. All right. We sing that song, he thought that I was worth saving. This is why the righteousness of God is so important because the law was condemning us. Yeah. Right. Check it out now. I ain't done yet. He says, and there, he says that we were worthless. He says, there is no one who does good, not even one. All right. Their throats are open graves. Their tongues practice deceit. The poison of vipers is on their lips. Their mouths are full of cursing and bitterness. All right. Their feet are swift to shed blood. Ruin and misery mark their ways. All right. And the way of peace they do not know. Right. My God, don't it sound like they're describing 2019? All right. uh -huh. And it says, there is no fear of God before their eyes. Now we know that whatever the law says, it says to those who are under the law, thank God right. uh, that we're not under the law no more. Tell your neighbor, thank God, thank God. we're not under the law. We're under, we're under grace now. Amen. Thank God for grace. Thank God that Jesus said my grace. It's efficient. Yeah, it's efficient for you. Yeah. And thank God that we have moved from being under the penalty of the Mosaic law. Because it says, so that every mouth uh, might may be silenced and the whole world held accountable to God. All right. Therefore, no one will be declared righteous in his sight by observing the law. Yeah. Rather, though, through the law, we become conscious of sin. Yeah. The law only brings you to a consciousness that you're wrong. Amen. All right. Amen. But you can't stay in Wrongsville right. and not move out of Wrongsville. Right. Amen. Because some folk, I, I was working on a job, and this is, this is a true story. I was working on a job a few months ago, and I was at a lady's house, and uh, uh, she had a light uh, 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 in one of the bedrooms that needed to be changed. And I, she said, well, can you change it for me? It's not part of the job that I was doing, but because I was being nice, I went on ahead and, and I changed the light for her. She said, because I'm afraid of heights. I said, well, I said, well, I just threw the question out there. I said, well, uh, if you're scared of heights, how you gonna go again? Uh -oh. uh -oh. <laughs> Y'all know what her reply was? She says, oh, I know I'm going to hell. Oh, wow. And y'all, that's, that's what I said in my mind. And she had three little three children right there. She said, well, I, I ain't going to heaven. I know I'm going to hell. You know how many people who have already come to the resolve that that's where they go? Yeah, right. And have no hope of God or Jesus in their life. Yeah. And sin, that's what sin does. It brings us to a, a consciousness.
righteousness that we doing wrong, but then some folks are doing wrong and don't want to do right. drugs are going to do. You know what alcohol is going to do. You know what being promiscuous is going to do. You got to move from that. If you desire to have greatness, now if you desire to want to live good and not always be in the hood, but sometimes you just want to go and visit the hood, but God done raised you up and got you out the hood. And as we move on to the text, he says, he says, but now a righteousness from God. All right. We got to understand what righteousness is. A righteousness is a quality of being moral and right or justifiable. All right. Before we had knowledge of being right and righteousness, we all have been uh immorally wrong. Yeah. All right. We did things that went against what we were even taught. Amen. We did them simply because we wanted to do it. All right. We did them because everybody else was doing it. And I, I, I have to challenge people now that if everybody else is doing a certain thing, chances are it's wrong. Amen. I'm going to say that again. Or maybe somebody's going to catch that on the way to the aisle. That if everybody is doing the same thing, chances are it's wrong. Amen. Because see, when, you, when you're living right and you're be trying to be righteous before God, you're going to recognize real quick that everybody is, is not going to be around you. Amen. All right. Because folk don't to live right means that and to have a right relationship with God, that means you got to spend some you got to have some quality time, some intimate time with God. Amen. All right. And that includes you can you it ain't always at every church service. Amen. All right. Amen. 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 Lights and wall. I, I'm here to bring, I'm really here to help y'all because see, some folk think that it's all in church. While you at church listening to the music and listening to the preacher, that could be time that you could have some uh, spiritual time with God. And, and most folk now, everybody is trying to get the footage. Can't nobody get in service no more because everybody got their cameras up. All right, all right. Amen. 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 I know y'all ain't going to like me Amen. when I talk this one because everybody is trying to get the footage. Everybody want everybody else to see what's going on. But that, that's why deliverance can't come because you trying to get the footage for somebody and all they talking about in your comments is who is that? Where he come from? Girl, I like that suit. What what church is this? Where is it? What time is it? You trying to ask a question and you can't get no word. Is keeping them company. All right. Amen. 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 After you done said hello, let that be it. Amen. 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 But it says, but now righteousness from God apart from the law has been made known to which the law and the prophets testify. Yes. This righteousness from God comes through faith. And in order for you to move from under the penalty of the law and to attain this righteousness from God, he said, your access that will be granted is through your faith. All right. And what is faith? Uh, Hebrews uh, 11 uh, 1 says, now faith. Yes, is the substance of things that are hopeful and the evidence of things not seen. I know we can quote that, and I heard y'all quoting it, but but really, what is faith? Faith is believing in something, uh, even though it has not uh, come to fruition, but you believe uh, by 
by what's going on within your heart and in your mind that it can be so even though right. it hadn't showed up yet. All right, all right. That's what faith is. I, 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 I don't know what God is going to do in the next season, but I believe that it's going to be well with my soul. Faith is faith. Faith is the substance of things that is hopeful. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How many in here have faith in God? Amen. I, I, I need to see some hands. How many have faith in God? If, uh, if you don't have faith in God, the Bible says that without yes, without faith, it is impossible to please God. Amen. And Paul says, he says, this righteousness from God comes through through faith in Jesus Christ uh, to all who believe. Yeah. You have to believe in order to achieve. All right. You have to believe in order to attain. Amen. And, and I'm talking about this righteousness because, because see, I, he is a rewarder of them who diligently seek him. And, and you may not have him fully today, but you're holding on to the promise that he will be there and through him being there and showing up in every instance in your life then your faith grows stronger day by day and it is the reason why I believe that most of you are here this morning because God has showed himself faithful in your life. Alright, alright. Can I just do roll call for you? It wasn't your alarm clock that woke you up. Alright. It wasn't your, your sweet boo no, touching you on the shoulder yeah. and saying, baby, wake up. All right. It wasn't your children making noise in the bedroom, throwing the toys on the floor that woke you up. It was God's yeah. amazing grace right. yeah, yeah, yeah. that woke you up. Woke you up early this morning. Yeah. Yes, and started you on your journey. Yeah. yeah. And Paul says, there is no difference for all have seen. I like this. I like this particular one here, uh, Sister Shanice, because there are some people who walk around with their nose in the nosebleed session. Right. Acting yeah. like they ain't never done nothing. All right. Acting like they never sinned. They ain't never done nothing wrong. But here's the scripture that tells for all. Of the glory of God. All right. Look at your neighbor and tell your neighbor. Look him in the eye and tell your neighbor, neighbor, yeah. you a sinner. <laughs> but we are a sinner saved. Yes, by God's grace. I don't have sin. The Bible says I don't care who, what your title is, what your denomination, what you believe. I don't care if you've been a drinker, smoker, a homeowner. You all, we all have sin. And if you say if you say you haven't seen, you are a liar. Right. Amen. Right. And the truth ain't it. All right. Speak, Bishop. Amen. Like Amen. Amen. Miss me with the people who walk around, parade around like they haven't done anything. So what? You haven't taken a drink. I drunk enough for you. You missed out on right. something. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So what? You, you didn't smoke no weed. I did that. All right. So what? You ain't sold no drugs. I did what the Lord did yeah, yeah, yeah. for me. Yeah. While he was yakking it, we were yakking our sins, yeah. he died. Yeah. 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 All right. Right. I, I feel good. All right. He died for us. Paul says, for all have sin yeah. and fall short of the glory right. of God. Yeah. Yeah. There are too many folks, especially in the church, in the local church, yeah. there are too many of us walking in like we already ready for our halo and our wing. Yeah. All right. All right. We walking in like our stuff don't have no sin. Yeah. All right. But I'm here to tell you all have sin. That's all right. Right. That's right. As a matter of fact, you probably did some sinning on the way in here. All right. Amen. Like I said, Mark, you had some impure thoughts. Y'all ain't helping me up in here. Why you been sitting here? Yeah. You've been sitting. Y'all ain't helping me now. Uh, because of the Bible. Yes. The Bible says and there is no difference in sin. Sin is just sin. That's right. That's right. Amen. 
Just because you ain't murdered nobody in the physical, you done assassinated some people with your tongue. All right. Yeah, yeah. You done killed folk with your tongue. Yeah. You done spoke ill against somebody. Amen. Amen. All right. You, yeah, 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 yeah. You, you, you have, you have torn down and broken down people with your words. That's right. Amen. And you ought to keep your mouth. Awful people. All right, all right. Tell your neighbor, keep your mouth off folks. Keep your mouth off Do me, do me one more favor. Just, just do tell them, do me this favor. Just shut up. Just shut up. Keep your mouth. Awful people. Help me in here today. Paul says, not only that we all have sinned and fall short of the glory. All right. And I like how he puts it in, 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 into present tense in this text. He says, for all have sinned and fall short. Yeah. 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 He didn't say falling short because falling short implies that that is, it has already done. It's been done. Yeah. To fall short is mean that we are presently doing it. All right. So he says, all have sinned and fall short. Yeah. But we got to watch our sins. Amen. Because it's very prevalent and very present in our, in our lives. All right. Amen. And we can do some things and say some things and think some things that can cause us to miss the mark. Amen. All right. Yes. To miss righteousness. Amen. Again, righteousness is a quality of being moral and right or justifiable. Amen. Then Paul says, and are justified freely by his grace through the redemption that came through Jesus Christ. Right. There was not one who could have redeemed us Amen. back to God. Yes. The only one was the only begotten Son of God. All right. And his name is Jesus. All right. It was by man that sin creeped into the world. Uh, 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 by our father uh, Adam Amen, Amen. All right. Sin creeped into the world all right. And it was by a man That all of the sin Was annihilated Through Jesus Christ all right. On the day Of atonement Where Jesus sacrificed His life for all but that makes me happy. Yes, yes. To know that that Jesus' blood atonement for our sins, it took and it wiped away all of our sins all right. when he hung, bled, and he died on Calvary's cross. Yeah, right. yeah, right. yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He, he wiped our slate clean. And 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 now we, we need to walk in the newness and the righteousness of God because he has made us righteous through his atonement. All right. Amen. And I don't know why you're not walking in your righteousness. Amen. Amen. Because he's already paved the way for you. All right. Amen. 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 And I know I know some of us we lean into our own understanding and we think that we know the way we yeah. think that we should we should try the way we think. That we should, uh, because that we don't want to do church like they used to do in the old days. But let me tell you something. In the old days, them folk got breakthroughs. All right. All right. They got deliverances. Yeah. Amen. Folk come out of uh, oppression from demons. Amen. And from right. witchcraft and sorcery. People came out Amen. because of the people and the saints that were praying. The mothers would be praying on the mother boat. Yeah. Amen. Amen. And they would put them down and tarry with them until something broke through for them. But now we got pop-up church. We All we want to do is come in and shake our butts and go right out with the same hell we came in. We don't want the preacher to tell us nothing real, true, and factual because he preaching hate. 
messages when he's telling us about our sin. Yeah. Yeah. Well, let me tell you, let me tell you something, people of God. If you don't like hell messages, as higher dimension deliverance church ain't gonna be your church. Yeah. Uh, because I'm here to tell you, we got I got to tell what thus saith the Lord. Yeah. And, and you ain't paying me enough to compromise my salvation. Yeah. As a matter of fact, there is not an amount that you can offer me All to right. compromise my salvation. All right. So it don't make no difference if you give me a billion dollars a, a Sunday, I'm still going to tell you the truth. Amen. 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 I guess that's why you don't give me nothing. <laughs> <laughs> Paul says that we are justified All right. freely by his grace mm -hmm. through the redemption that came by Jesus Christ. All right. God presented him as a sacrifice of atonement All right. through faith in his blood. He did this to demonstrate his justice. All right. Because in his forbearance, he had left the sins committed beforehand unpunished. All right. Before hand, all of the sins were unpunished. Yes. And don't you know that scripture says that all sin must be punished. All right. All right. Jesus, through the cross, took away a punishment from us mm -hmm. and placed it upon himself, and he didn't do no wrong. All right. Has anybody lifted their hands up lately and told the Lord thank you? Mm -hmm. Because you don't, we have not gotten what we justly deserve. Amen. 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 Right. Amen. Yes, yes. Our mama sin and our daddy's sin, their parents sin and their parents before them sin and on and on through the generations have sin. All right. And on and look forward to the generations to come. Jesus has already paid for even our children and our children's yeah, children yeah, yeah. and their children's children. He's already paid for their sin. Yeah. Through one blood of Uh-huh. So in other words, Jesus don't have to come down right. a second time and to be put on the cross for our sin. Amen. Because what he did over 2,000 years ago is sufficient enough for 2019. All right, all right, yes. And the days yes. to come. Amen. Paul says, and I'm done. He did it to demonstrate his justice at the present time. So as to be just and the one who justified. All right. Jesus showed us how to be just. All right. And then he showed us who had the power to justify. All right. That word justify is to be declared or made righteous in the sight of God. Yes. Now the law had condemned us. All right. Jesus, through his blood sacrifice, wiped our slaves clean. All right. It was uh, it wasn't until then we were able to have a right passage to God. Yes. Because no sin or no uh, uh, immoral acts can enter into the kingdom of God. All right. As a matter of fact, let me just go ahead and put it to you in layman's term. The way you acting now, you can't get in. All right. Amen. You you can't go. There is no hood heaven. All right. There is no y'all ain't helping me. Now. There is no ghetto fabulous heaven. Yeah, yeah. There is no Negro heaven. Y'all ain't helping me up in here. There is no white supremacy supreme heaven. You you can none but the right.
righteous, yeah. I'm about to run out of here. No, but the righteous yeah. shall be able to see God. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I'm so glad that can't just go anybody get that. Yeah. Say that, say that. You can, you can fool, you can fool man, but you can't fool God. Yeah. You, you can sit up here and, and, and put your Mary had a little lamb hat on on Sunday morning and act like you just so nice and naive and sweet. But God, yes. God knows that you are. Uh, God knows that you are witch. And I ain't gonna say nothing more than that. You a bitch. Yeah, God knows that you are dead from the pits of hell. But you want to sit here with your little Laura Ingalls bonnet on your head on Sunday morning like you ain't done nobody wrong. But I'm here to tell you, my brothers and my sisters, I am determined to become the righteousness of God through faith. Is there anybody in here? That's determined like me. Yeah. And I don't know how, how hard your road is. Yeah. And I don't know how many valleys you got to go through. Yeah. And I don't know how many more hills you have to climb. Yeah. But I am determined, uh -huh. yes, uh, uh, to become the righteousness through faith. Yeah. Because in Jesus Christ yeah. and I believe in God yeah. and I believe in the Holy Spirit yeah. and I believe that they are all one yeah. have I a witness in the place yeah. and I believe my brothers and sisters that one of these days the stars the moon and the stars and the clouds and the sun gonna move out of its way yeah. because behold the king of king is coming yeah. the, the, the clouds the sky is gonna crack open and God is going to make his debut on earth yeah. and the Lord right yeah. and I don't know how you feel about it my brothers and my sisters but I don't want to be counted out when the Lord comes. Is there anybody here that can testify that I want to go home to be with the Lord? Ain't God alright? Is there anybody here that can testify that one of these old days soon and very soon I'm going where the wicked will see some troubling and the weary be at rest. Ain't the Lord alright? And I don't know how you feel about it. One of these old days, when it's all said and done, yes, God, we're gonna hear him say, Well done, for good and faithful servant. Come on. Yeah, I feel my help now. Come on up a little higher. You've been faithful over a few things. I want to make you ruler over many. Ain't God all right? Well, I'm so glad. Yes, I am. I'm so glad that one of these days, when it's all over, I'm going to see my master's face. singing songs, talking about when I get there, I want to see Jesus, I want to go shake hands with Paul, I ain't worried about Paul, I ain't worried about Silas, I ain't worried about Nahum, Rebecca, I'm not worried, no, I'm not worried about Daniel, I just want to be somewhere around God's throne, yes, God, I want to be somewhere, spinning with the heavens, with my Lord. Anybody here want to go and stay with me?
with my God. Ain't God all right? Yes. Yes. I'm not concerned if mama's there. I'm not concerned if dad is there. I'm not concerned if the children are there. And I ain't even concerned if y'all there. Just Lord. Seat in the kingdom, that's all right. Yes, yes, yeah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. I'm determined to become the righteousness of God through faith. I believe, therefore. You should believe, therefore you shall become. If you don't have it, you don't believe you can have it. Jesus showed us in scripture that all things are possible if only you believe. Is there anybody here that believes he's a way maker? Do you believe he's a hard fixer? Do you believe he can get you out of trouble? Do you believe he healed your body? Do you believe he raised your loved one up off their sick bed? Do you believe he can do it for you? Make the Lord alright. I, I believe that's all I am. Yes. Thank you, Jesus. Jesus, thank you. Oh, thank you. I am a believer. Do I have any other believers in here? Yes. Thank you, God. Thank you. She the die for your sins and mine. He died. Yes, my brothers and sisters, he died for your sins. And I heard Jesus said, no man take my life except I lay it down. And if I lay it down in three days, I'll take it up again. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, thank you, Jesus. They put him, yes, in a barber tomb. Jesus. Yeah. I thank God for the Holy Spirit. Yeah. I thank God that he's keeping me yeah. even right now. Yeah. Is there anybody in here can testify? I thank God yeah. that he's keeping you. Yeah. He's keeping you when nobody else can keep you. He's keeping you when you don't even know how to keep yourself. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Yes, yes. Thank I'm you, determined. Lord. Yeah. The righteousness of God through faith. Amen. Yeah. Come on, let's give God a great big hand. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. There may be somebody here today. Today you have decided that you too are determined yes. to become the righteousness of God. The only way you can is having that belief in Jesus Christ. Believe that he loved you enough. So you got to personalize with your belief system. I can believe for everybody, and I do. I believe God for everybody, whatever they need, whatever, how they want. But there are times where you got to, you got to be selfish and believe for yourself. Amen. 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 You gotta believe that he came, he hung, he bled, and he died for you. Yes, yes. And now he's gone back 
and he's sitting at the right hand of his father. Yeah. Just as he said he would. that he would. Amen. Through his blood atonement, we're able to make the right choices, the right decisions to come unto him. Now that all your sins have been forgiven, you can pay homage to God for what he did for you. Amen. Will that be one on today? Jesus said that the day that you hear my voice, harden not your heart. The Spirit says, come. The heavens say, come. God says, Jesus says, come. All right. And I, as the under-shepherd says, come. Amen. While the blood is running warm in your bed, you ought to come. Come unto Jesus. Why? Give God a great big Amen. 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 Am